And our problem, I think, sometimes is the world sees some of us, and potentially maybe all of us at times, who would come and have faith in God and put the fire insurance up on the wall. We say, you know what? I have just enough faith to make sure that I'm not going to go to hell. And then we stop. It's almost like, and I, I was guilty of this. As a, as a 12-year-old, when my mom started dragging me to church, I was doing things out of an extrinsic motivation. I was trying to just be a polite kid and show up and smile. And they told me to say a prayer, and I did it because I wanted them to leave me alone. And I put the fire insurance on the wall, and everybody said, hey, he's saved. And there was nothing different about my life, and I wasn't saved. There was nothing different. Somebody who watched me Monday to Friday would have seen no change in my life based on the faith that I had in God. Because it was based out of fear, and it was based out of trying to please a person. It was not based on a relationship with Jesus. And so maybe I met the minimum requirements of faith, But there was no change in my life. There was no movement. There was no growth. I'm always seeking out the best deal, right? If anyone here is like a Groupon, one of those Groupon people, I'm a Groupon guy, right? I'm on Groupon. Hey, that's cool. Let me get that. Like, I'm looking for the best deal ever, right? And sometimes, you know, I'll buy something ahead of time or I'll buy it, you know, more than I need because it's an awesome deal. And I think sometimes we are looking for the Groupon on faith. Like, I want the good deal, like, just give me the one where I don't have to do too much, right? Like, I'll just, just, I want the fire insurance. I don't want to be in hell. I want my spouse to be happy. I want my mom to be happy, my dad. I want my, I'll do this for whatever, and like, just give me the Groupon. I'll buy the Groupon, and then I'm out. Just leave me alone. And, and there's no Groupon for faith. In fact, Jesus says, this is what it's going to take to have faith. You're going to need to love the Lord your God with all your heart and soul and mind. There's no discount. It takes everything. And then what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to love your neighbor not just the way you love yourself. In fact, Jesus, when he gives them the new commandment in John 13, he says, you need to love your neighbor the way I am loving you. Jesus went to the cross for his neighbor. And then he says, you're going to have to pick up your cross and follow me every day. And I'm not going to exclude you from hardship. And I'm not going to protect you from all the stuff that happens in this world. There's no group on for faith. It takes everything. I don't want you to be intimidated by that when you're sort of investigating faith, but let me be honest with you. There's no discount. There's, there's no quick way to do this. It's all of you. It's all of you for the rest of your life. That's what it takes to follow Jesus. And we don't want to water that down. 